today I'm going to be going to Sherlock Holmes, Crimes and Punishments. Okay, so here we go. Let's uh, go ahead and go for a new case here. I've done a couple just to kind of just get myself familiarized with the game. So let's begin. Alrighty. So first things first. This is just a test, by the way, guys. Just to see how things do. Deduction space. I kind of indicate some of your clues are important. De deduction can improve. The deduction space appears when you find your first clue. Let's continue. Holmes, what happened? I feel deathly. And you look it. Let me examine you. Please don't tell me that you've returned to your old habits. Okay. The pupil is dilated. The temperature appears to be normal. First. I need to concentrate and count the heartbeats. Okay, measure the heartbeats for the attention line. I need to concentrate and count Oops. the heartbeats. Okay. I need to concentrate. I need to concentrate and count the heartbeats. I need to con I need to concentrate oh, and okay, count the heartbeats. A weak pulse, around 50 beats per minute. Oh dear. But you're dying, Holmes. Your pulse rate is dropping. We need to get you to the hospital immediately. The antidote? <laughs> Give it to me. The antidote? You mean that you're poisoned? No. Please. Here, drink it all. Don't tell me that you did this to yourself. Hemlock and the Tura. I was compelled to. Holmes, imagine if I'd not returned home when I did. What might have happened? <laughs> I knew that you would. Mr. Holmes, Inspector Lestrade is here to see you. Mr. Holmes is unable to see anyone at the moment. He is unwell. A good day, Inspector. Oh, here we go. Ah, Mr. Holmes, I'm glad to find you here. I need your help. This is a strange one. We have brought in two young bankers from the city, sons of lords, members of the chamber, and so on and so forth. Okay. They were found stranded in a rowing boat mm -hmm. that was drifting on the Thames. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A romantic escapade with an unhappy ending, Lestrade. What? Well, yes, they were both in the bath, but uh, what? As I said. And they were tied together. Okay. You are lacking in imagination, Inspector. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, no, I'm not. Anyway. There was a banner flapping about in the boat with the RMS Oceanic printed on it and signed by the Merry Men. The Oceanic? Isn't that the largest steamer ever built? Yes. And these two young banker chaps are sons of the owners of the White Star Line, the company that built it. There are rumours of corruption. I'm not interested in politics, Lestrade. I'll Me keep neither. it then. Here's another one that's a bit more complex and maybe to your liking. It's a murder, but we're unable to find any weapon. We haven't touched anything. It's at the Roman Baths in Strand Lane. A murder? A vanishing weapon? The Roman Baths? That's for us. Watson, fetch your hat. Oh, I didn't pick up your 
All right, so let's go ahead and let's go to Strand Lane Bath. Looks like we get to go to a bathhouse, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. What do we got here? Some face goods, souvenirs. I think this is all back from the camp. Okay, let's continue, guys. We're here. With a dreadful murder. The body of Sir Rodney Bentcliffe is still in the steam room. It has not been touched, per your usual instructions, Mr. Holmes. Thank you. I shall be waiting for you here, but please hurry. Are you able to identify the men who were with the victim in the steam room? Yes. The manager of the bath, Sir Gregory Pitkin, a lad from the city council, Garrow, and an archaeologist by the name of Blinkhorn. I think the plump one, Garrow, did it. He doesn't seem right in the head. Well, we shall see. Was there anyone else here, apart from those gentlemen in the steam room? Yes, a Mr. Phillips. He was the one who called the police. He will be able to give you more details. Well, thank you. You found no murder weapon? No. And that's why I called you. All three witnesses and the victim were locked in when the murder occurred, mm -hmm. and they remained so until okay. we got here. We even had to pick the lock to enter. I see. Okay, so let's go. Let's talk to Mr. Phillips here first. All right. Good so day to you, go. Mr. Phillips. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is my colleague, Dr. Watson. Would you be so kind as to answer our questions? Please. Certainly, sir. Thank you. First off, let's take a look at this guy here. Let's take a look at that. Okay, light wrinkles. Uh, scissor cut, right diagnosis himself as alone. How can you tell that? Shiny buttons, okay. Manchester City. What else do we got here, huh? Ooh, look at that. Alright, tell me what happened, guys. Please tell us the chain of events from the start of your day. Everything that you can remember. The slightest detail may be of importance. Very much. So. Very well, sir. I came in at 6.30 this morning, and I opened the baths. I made sure that the room was clean, and I prepared the towels. The brazier was still burning. There was a fire burning all night? Yes. Sir Gregory ordered me to light the brazier yesterday. Okay. It takes some time until the room is fully heated. The gentleman had a meeting at 9 o'clock this morning. I wanted everything to be perfect. They'd been in the steam room for 20 minutes when I suddenly heard shouting. I ran to the door, but it was closed. I couldn't open it. So I ran out to the street to call for the police. One constable came up, and then there were others, and they picked the lock. Then Inspector Lestrade came along, and he told us that nothing should be touched. That's it, huh? with any other visitors. Hmm. Did you receive any other visitors this morning? No one. Until these gentlemen arrived. Sir Gregory was the first. And then, while we were discussing work details, Sir Rodney and Mr. Blinkhorn arrived, and Mr. Garrow followed. And what happened after that? I waited until they'd all entered the steam room, then I returned to the hall. The changing room door was open, so I should hear if they needed anything. You would have heard if someone had entered or left the steam room. Certainly, sir. These doors make a lot of noise. 
Oh, thank you. What should we do next, Holmes? Well, let's go ahead. Let's go this way. These clothes belong to one of the suspects from the steam room. These clothes belong to one of the suspects from the steam room. Expensive clothes belonging to one of the men from the steam room. Champagne for a special occasion. Unopened. It was intended to be enjoyed after the steam session. Unopened. It was intended to be enjoyed after the steam session. Okay. An ice bucket to keep the champagne chilled. All right, guys. Let's go see. Maybe I did that, and I did that. All right. Tower. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's this? Gentlemen. Lord Holmes. Ah, death with a peculiarly Roman piquancy. Like the one you almost had an hour ago. Uh, let us forget about that. Yeah, definitely. Okay, guys, that's examined the blood. Okay. I should check this blood sample at Baker Street. Alrighty. So. Oh, look at this that. key was covered in blood. I should ask Phillips about it. Let's examine the body, guys. Looks like the there was only there. one hit from the weapon. It pierced the right eye straight through to the brain. Dang. Death would have been instantaneous. Yeah, I don't know what to say. Hmm. The wound should not have bled so profusely. This pool is rather large. Take it to right hand, guys. Some dirt or earth. I'll take a sample. Some dirt or earth. I'll take a sample. Well, death is very recent. Between 30 minutes to one hour ago. Look, Watson. He was wearing a ring. He very likely removed it before the steam session. I think we have found all that we can here, taking into consideration the abysmal lighting. Constable, we have finished with the body. We don't have many leads here. No, we do not. What concerns me is that we still have to find the murder weapon. Mr. Holmes? Please have the body removed without disturbing anything else in the room. All right, Mr. Holmes. I was wondering, Holmes, it's fairly reckless to carry out a murder inside a closed chamber. Why do you suppose they did it? There are a great many possibilities. But the murderer the was in a hurry. Playing or Holmes, he is an artist, or a ghost, or he wanted to ensure that I'd be brought in on the case. Probably the latter. You are ridiculous, do you know that? Oh, well, it's quite elementary, my dear Dawson. All right, let's go talk to these three guys over here. And we are going to start to Mr. It's Gale. horrible. So Rodney East, dead. Can't we speak about it somewhere else? I found him. I touched his shoulder, thinking that he was just asleep. Blood traces wiped on the towel.
I'm in shock. I don't want to talk. It's horrible. I can't talk at the moment. Mr. Holmes? This area serves as Sir Rodney Bentcliffe's workshop. This area serves as Sir Rodney Bent. Looks like we got some numbers on those. tools used by archaeologists in their research. I will need these tongs. <laughs> tools used by archaeologists in their research. Okay, okay, okay. This metal plate, besides archaeological, is a present moment. I am unable to determine what it might be. A shape has been cut in the plate. What should be done with it? Archaeological findings old clay pots with numbers inscribed upon them. So you just check everything here. Okay, dear friends, I wish to organize a press conference at this time. Bang Bows next month. 1893 was a remarkable year for my work in Egypt, but now I set set focus upon English archaeology to shine the light on our national treasures and reveal them to the public. I would like to see as many journalists as possible in the attendance to record this event and record it favorably if we treat them well enough. I should like to recall our no friendship with Thor Blackmore and use the special funds of the Royal Archaeological Institute for this event, Sir Rodney Radcliffe. So it looks like we're going to have to find a Lord Blackmore here. Okay, let's go. Newspaper, okay. Sure. Okay, so the Daily Mirror, so I'm gonna kind of just go through this here and you guys can uh, pause it or and I'm also gonna put in the chapter so you can all read this here. There are a few among us who could claim and any degree of unfamiliar, 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 unfamiliar Excuse me guys, okay. There are a few a few among us who could claim any degree of unfamiliarity with the name of Sir Rodney Bencliffe. He is a gentleman who possesses the wealth, not notori 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 and vigor to well match the finest of his ilk abound in England. His intellect is equal to his charms, as 
as has oft been declared by the young ladies of the European aristocracy. He, would, he holds powerful connections within the Lord's Chamber and carries an influence inside the political world. There are those who would call him unforgiving authoritarian. We should rather say Sir Rodney is determined and ambitious. His presence at any archaeological site can only mean success for all concerned. Okay. Miraculous reopenings for the Strands, May Roman Bath, the Excavation Research. The research efforts were about to be halted when a savior arrived in the form of Sir Rodney Bentcliffe. Sir Rodney has been taking over immediate control of the ex excavation, claiming that the site holds the key to a great mystery. We pledge to our readers to with all of the exciting news as it develops. And I just failed miserably reading those guys. I am so sorry. Okay. Archaeological findings. Old clay pots with numbers inscribed upon them. Anything up there, guys? So, usually when you're playing Sherlock Holmes... Ooh, it was so was on the floor over there, huh? Okay, we're back here. Nothing... It, box. Okay. Here we go. One's missing. A glass plate negative is missing. It is a glass plate negative of an Egyptian statue. Glass plate negatives. A remarkable method for recording ancient civilizations. Alrighty, so we done everything in this room. Let's go ahead and go out and see what's around this corner. Okay, because I like exploring, and that's what the good detectives do. Is we're going to holy cow! Holy cow! Right? I wonder how this could have happened. <coughs> yes, it is somewhat treacherous. <clears throat> Fortunately, I am unscathed. To where does this corridor lead? To the Frigidarium, the coal room. Barely unscathed and by a very small margin. And treacherous is an understatement. Well, thank you, Dr. Watson. I'll right, take that into. Those stones weigh tons. We won't move them. It does not matter. If our investigation requires it, we shall ask for them to be removed. Definitely. <laughs> Which we will have to come back this way, of course. How many people have keys to the steam room? We have just the one key for now, which Sir Gregory gave to me. So, this morning you opened the steam room, and then? I put the key inside my desk, but when they called, I couldn't find it. It had disappeared, but I, I, I don't know where it is. Did you leave the baths at any time, or receive any visitors? No, sir. I did not. Oh, shoot. Hey back, guys. How I'm many sorry. people have keys to the steam room? So I put did so no we're sir. Just gonna, I did not. Let's see. Nope. Select the correct answer. 
Did you leave? No, sir. I did not. Okay, what are we doing here? Left work. Morning telegram. Okay. You are not telling the truth, Mr. Phillips. You left your work this morning, and you went to the post office, where you dispatched a telegram at around 7.30. But how could you... No, I... The telegram was for someone in Manchester. Mr. Holmes, it's imp... I'll tell you everything. I left the baths at 7.20. My sister wrote to me yesterday, and she needed a reply, or our mother is unwell. I was away for 20 minutes, and I closed the baths on my way out. Did you receive a reply from your sister? No, she wasn't meant to. I just told her to pawn my old school uniform so that she could pay for the medication. Did you check to see if the key was still in your desk when you returned? No, I didn't. Please, Mr. Holmes, don't tell the police about this. Uh, Sir Gregory dude, would give me the right sack. There. I need this job. I see. There is a bottle of champagne on ice in the changing okay. room. Do you have any idea who left it there? Yeah, who left there it is? there? Are you quite certain? I didn't pay any attention. Do you believe that it's important? No kidding, dude. No kidding. I'm always wondering what's on your mind, Holmes. Oh, there are so many things, Dr. Watson. Mr. Holmes? Alright, let's talk to Lestrade. Any progress, Mr. Holmes? Search razor. I should analyze this melted metal. One lens is cracked, probably due to the temperature of the brazier. One lens is cracked, probably due to the temperature of the brazier. Okay. These lenses are for myopia. The wearer is short-sighted. Good examine the glasses. We already did that. I don't want to stay here. Let us out, please. With the steam on, I'm unable to see even a few feet away. Oh, Seattle, Washington. Oh, cool. All right, let's see if we got anything else on here, on him. These baths are becoming sinister. All right, guys. Those stones weigh tons. We won't move them. It does not matter. We don't have many leads here. No, which is why we're going to go back and uh, run tests in my lab. Alright, so let's go ahead and go to back home. Nope, oh, nope, we don't want to come out here. We want to come out over here. And guys, we're going to exit right here for the night and I'll be... Uh, seeing you guys later. So thank you and take care guys. Oh, first off, let's go ahead and do our deductions. Let's see what we got here. Okay, champagne. So we only have two really here, so there's nothing really much we can do. 
And we really don't have anything to substantiate. Alright, now that we're back here, guys. I am going to uh, quit here for tonight. And we'll come back clean for one. Oh, hey, dog, dog. Oh, we gotta go talk to the dog here. Toby. On the sofa for the third time today. Well, don't be surprised if Watson sits on you again.